What is going on guys, DBG here and we are going to be doing another spin the wheel today. Except it's not going to be a normal one, I think this is a completely different idea. And we're actually going to be doing NBA 2K17 my team, spin the wheel, FIFA edition. So the rules are, I play one game online. I'm going to be using my favourite team leads and just before you watch me play, I haven't played FIFA in months. So I'm going to be playing one game online. And that game decides which wheel I get to pick from. Just like in the last spin the wheel, I'm going to have two wheels. Wheel number one is players rated 65 to 82. And wheel number two is players ratings from 83 to 99. So this is how it's going to work. If I lose the game, I have to pick seven players from wheel one, which is the lower wheel, and I get to pick six from wheel two. And for every goal, more than one I lose by. So if I lose by two goals, it means I get one less pick from wheel two, so one less good player. If I draw the game, I get seven picks from wheel two, six picks from wheel one. And if I win, for every goal I win by, I get an extra pick from wheel two. So hypothetically, if I win like seven or eight nil, which isn't gonna happen because it's FIFA, I'll be able to get all picks from the good board, but that's very unlikely. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. As you can see, I have literally not played an online game of FIFA 17. To be honest, I bought this game expecting to be buying it a lot and I've hardly played it at all. So let's see if we can find someone in Division 10 with a 3.5 star team. This is going to take a while. See, this is the way 2K's matchmaking should be. You should all have, every team in my team should have a star rating and you should come up against teams with your stars. It, it'll stop teams with all emerald cards coming up against god squads. Okay, if we can score with someone except Chris Wood, it'll be a good game. It'll be a good game if we can score with someone except for Chris Wood. Out wide. Let's go, Pedraza. Wait for the big man to get in. Slow it down. Go back on your left. Into the big man, into the big man inside. Chris Wood with the header. Ah. Oh. Activier. Oh, Berardi. Nah, I'm not gonna strike it. Oh, for fuck's sake, there are three on one. Go Vieira, and I'm playing them all onside. Oh, don't let Dwight Gale score on us! Damn, that's one pick on the bad uh, wheel. He, he literally had one attack and he finesses it with Dwight Gale. Go, Pablo's, Pablo's gone, Pablo's gone. Pablo Hernandez is gone. Play through Chris Wood, oh, that's a terrible pass. That's a terrible pass. Okay. Oh no, let's, yes, Rob Green. That was risky, that was very risky. Okay, so I'm gonna change my formation. You know, 4-3-3 attack. Taking, oh, but Chris Wood is the main striker. Take off Stuart Dallas, get Roof on. And take off Pedraza and get Sacco on. Come on, Pablo, come on, Pablo. Come on, Pablo, oh no. Like, I can't get a shot off. Like, I just can't get enough space. I'm horrible in the final third. Oh, Pablo's through. Pablo's through. Pablo's through. Pablo's through. Takes a shot. Miss. Come on. Come on, Vieira. Please, Vieira. How did you miss that, Vieira? You can score from 40 yards out against Norwich, and you missed that. Oh, yes, Chris Wood. Yes, Chris Wood. Yes, Chris Wood. No. Go. There we go. Uh, I've got three, I've got seven minutes left to score. Let's go. On his head, on his head. Go Roof. Is Roof having for pace? Yes, he does. Oh, Chris Wood's got him. Chris Wood's got him. Chris Wood's got him. Chris Wood's got him. Chris Wood's got the probable winning goal. 85th minute. Chris Wood. Let's see what he can do. Cartwheel. There we go. I would, this is the time where I would go defensive, but the fact is that I've literally only got like, I've still got four picks on a bad board. Make it three if I can get a win here. If I can get an extra goal here. Attack here. Okay. Oh no! No, we lost that in a bad spot. And it's game. That's the game. We win 2-1. So not too bad. Okay, so because we did win by one goal and we got the win, it switches from 6-7 and seven to 7-6 seven and, and we won by one goal. So now we have 8 picks on the good wheel and 5 picks on the bad wheel. So I'm going to pick... My first five players are going to be my starting five, and I'm going to use four of my good wheel picks on my starting five, with one for my bad wheel. I'll turn off sound. And first, we get 99. Yes. 
So with our 99 overall player, we use Kobe Bryant. Obviously we used MJ in the last episode, we're going to be using Kobe Bryant in this one. This isn't as good as the pink time, but it is almost as good. He's got two Hall of Fame badges, the rest of them are bronze, and some insane, insane stats. Let's see if we can get some luck here. We get 99. Then we go and get 88. With our 88 overall, we pick up JaVale McGee. Hall of Fame Lob City finisher. What more is ne needs to be said? And if you guys are wondering why there's some numbers missing, the auction house is currently glitched while I'm recording this, and I only have players, player ratings up for players I have. Like I currently don't have a 93 rated card, I don't think there's any 93 rated cards up on the market right now. I um, don't have a 98 rated card, I can't afford any of them, so that's why. Okay, number three. And we get an 83 nearly at the 99. With our 83 overall, we take Penny Hardaway to run the point guard for our starting lineup. One of the best Emerald cards you can get. And that's an 83 overall, which is the worst we can get on the main wheel. He's not bad at all. Let's go number four. And we get 88 again. So that's my starting four and my starting five. With our second 88 overall card, we pick up Brandon Ingram to run the small forward in our starting lineup. This card is a beast, like 93 D offensive overall, not great defender, good shooter. If only he was 6 foot 10, like he is in his normal card. 2K haven't fixed that, but still, a beast of a card. And then one of my starting five, no bronzes, just no bronzes. Turn off sound, and we get 71. And with our 71 overall, we take Boris Diaw, who is actually one of my favorite players in real life. A power, six foot eight power forward who's really not good in the game. So now we're on to the bench. We're gonna do my four from the bad wheel first. And we get 74. So off the bench, first person off the bench, we've got Hollis Thompson, who I literally just have in there because he's got a 91 open shot three. Next we get 69, so we've got our first bronze of the squad, Justin Hamilton. And I'm gonna show you something. J bronze Justin Hamilton is way better than the silver one, and I'm gonna show you why now. Like look at the shooting stats, like they're almost the same. But look at these. Speed, bronze one has a plus six, and speed with ball, bronze has a plus 36. He, his speed with ball got downgraded by 36 with a moments card. This card is so, like, so glitchy in game. He, even though he doesn't have 78 speed, if you have the ball with him and run, it feels like it's about 95. And I will use him a little bit in this game just to show how good he is. Next up, we get 682. I will take that. I thought it was 65, but I will take 82. And our 82 overall player, we take Jay Williams, a beast of a point guard who basically everyone got day one and still holds his own a little bit in online. Next up, we have got 79, a gold card, but I will take it. That's our first gold. But our 79 overall, we take Mike Dunleavy because he is a dynamic duo with Jay Williams. His stats get a little bit better, but while it makes him, I think, an 80 overall, it makes Jay Williams an 88 overall. So now we are getting our last four picks from the good wheel. First up, we have got 98. So we get Dennis Rodman again, just like we got him the last time. Of course, self-explanatory, the only 98 overall player I have, Dennis Rodman. Let's see what who we get. We now get 87, so we got a ruby. With our 87 overall, we take Ruby Jason Richardson, one of the better dunkers in the game, quite fast and a great shooter, a solid card, and considering the fact that it's the lowest rated Ruby, it's still one of the better Rubies in the game. Okay, so two more picks. We get 85, so we get a Sapphire card. An 85, for some reason, is actually a really weird rating. There's very few good 85 rated players. Connie Hawkins' Sapphire card is was a beast for me at the start of this game. I absolutely love his Amethyst. So I decided just to use his Sapphire in this challenge. And with the last pick, give us a 99, 98, or 97. And we go and get 85 again. So we get another kind of weird rating. Like I'd much rather get 84, or even 83 than 85. It's just a bad rating for some reason. And the last player we have got, our center off the bench, Sapphire Brook Lopez. Was in my main squad at center for a long, long time like shooting over 50% from three and from the field for me, an absolute beast offensively and a great rebounder. 
So this is the team we're running with. Obviously, this is our starting five. Of the bench, we've got Jay Williams, Mike Only V, Dynamic Duo with one and three. We have got Jason Richardson at the two, Robin at the four, and Kirk Lopez at the five. The last three will get a couple of minutes in this game. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. So let's see what team this guy's got. He pressed start and he's got Pink Diamond Baylor, Dennis Rodman. He's got Marcus all with a shoe. Amethyst Kobe Bryant. That's a good squad. Steel, that's all good. We do have 99 Kobe Bryant. I completely forgot about that. Oh, pull it up. Or just take a lap. We got 2-0 lead. There we go. Let's go. Oh, on the break. On the break. On the break. Kobe Bryant making a 4-0. Like, MJ literally, when we used him in our last video, I think MJ scored two points or something before the guy Rage quit. Quip. Kobe's already scored more than that, and we're about a minute in. Get out to him, get out to him, get out to him. No. Let's go with some lob cheese. Let's go with some lob cheese. Lob it up. And JaVale McGee with the dunk. We're right on him. We're right on him. Get that rebound, JaVale. Let's find Ingram. Let's find Ingram. Oh, straight to the basket, Brandon Ingram. Straight to the basket, Brandon Ingram. JaVale McGee. JaVale McGee goes and jams it on Marcus Gasol. Got an 11 point lead early. The dynamic duo working wonders. Jay Williams gives it to Mike Dunleavy who gives us a 14 point lead. Let's go, Jason Richardson out on the break. Jason Richardson out on the break. Jason Richardson with the dunk. Yeah, I'm gonna actually bring on one of the glitchiest players in the game at power forward. Justin Hamilton, I'm gonna play him center. You're gonna see why this guy is so glitchy. No way is that good. Like, look at this. Look at how fast he's pushing the floor. Like, <laughs> look, he's out speeding his guards, like. And then he goes and gets the assist there. Like, I used to run in point guard and challenges, and he used to just cheese. Okay, let's see. If I can get a little bit of a head start, I should be able to blow past Yao. Yep. Right by him, and Justin Hamilton with the dunk. Give him the ball, play him as your point guard, and he... Play him as your center and give him the ball to take up, and he's so cheese. Oh, he just run th ran through you out there. Like, look at how fast he is. Okay, give him the ball on the outside. Give him the ball on the outside. No, oh, right by you. Right by you with the crossover. <laughs> His bronze card is glitchy. Like, it's insane how fast this bronze card is. And he can actually shoot a little bit as well, so you gotta leave, you can't, like, do that. Obviously, he missed that shot there, but you gotta respect his jump shot as well. That's a dunk. Or, I just threw the ball through the backboard. I'm genuinely looking forward to seeing the very start of 2K18 E-League. Seeing someone win a game by either running through a player or shooting the ball through the backboard. Something stupid like that happening. I just scored through the backboard, and this guy has just rage quit. He's rage quit, so that's two spin the wheels in a row that we've gotten rage quits. But yeah, so we ended up winning this game. Well, winning by default because this guy rage quitted. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.